Uh-huh. Look, maybe first I should explain to you my theory on, on laundry. You see, there are three stages of, of clean or, uh, or dirty. You know, it's, it's kind of that, that optimist, pessimist kind of thing, you know. You, you see, the, the really clean stuff, I mean, you know, the stuff that's, uh, the stuff that's right out of the, the cycle. Well, see, that stuff, I mean, that goes right into the, into the drawers and the closets. But the, the really dirty stuff, of course, that goes right into the laundry. <laughs> so the dilemma has always been, what do you do with the stuff? in between. Hence, clothes tree. You know which you are, Mike? Well, many things, and I'm sure you're going to pick one. A slob. S-L-O-B. Slob. Well, I prefer to think that I have a highly tuned appreciation for nuance. Not to mention a sensitivity to my own personal impact on this environment, which I am trying to minimize by avoiding unnecessary laundry. I gotta get out of here. <clears throat> well, what's on your agenda today? Business. Personal as in, uh, Brenda? Personal as in just that, and business as in mind your own. Ooh, touchy, touchy. Well, you know, I don't, I'm not in the mood to answer a lot of questions because I got enough cops filling that role. Tell Brenda I said hi. I will. Thanks for postponing your flight back to Puerto Rico. You said you wanted to see me. I was happy to wait. My apologies for any inconvenience. I just thought uh, it would be best to get this done face to face. I assumed you considered my offer. Your most generous offer? Yeah. And I've come to a decision. I want you to understand that I'm not taking your offer lightly. You're asking me to make what amounts to be a life choice, the way I see it. I expected you would. And if I say yes to what you want of me, there's no turning back. Which is why I assumed you needed more time to consider. Lily is extraordinary. She understands me on a level that's so profound. We don't need words to express it. For me, this is an excellent thing. I care for her deeply, and I have enormous respect for her, as, as I, I do you. I would be honored to call her my wife. And I will protect and guard her heart as well as her life for all the days of mine. And will you be faithful to her? Well, you know, I'm, I'm making a commitment. Does it really have to go any further than that? Very well. As for my part, I will take immediate steps to ensure the protection of your organization and to put in place the steps that will pass mine on to you in the event of my death. As for your current trouble, it will disappear. <laughs> my daughter loves you, Sonny. I know that. Well, uh, I gotta go, so... I, as far as Lily, I'll handle it myself. As you wish. Uh, hello, pretty lady. 
try. You got some socks on your shirt. Yeah, uh, which I am about to hang with care. <laughs> You're kidding. No. Mike, see, actually how it works is you're supposed to go buy actual, you know, Christmas stockings that were made specifically for this purpose. Brenda, that is such a yuppie concept. I mean, my socks are perfectly okay, no holes or anything. What is that? Oh, meet my clothes tree, which is about to double as a Christmas tree. It's a versatile piece of wood, isn't it? I'm not even going to ask. Okay, then I will. What brings you to my door? Just thought I'd come hang out with a good friend. Get a little reality check. Not necessarily in that order. Would this have something to do with Sonny? Who else? Okay. Reality check first. Go in there, pour yourself a cup of joe, come back out here and get in those boxes and grab some ornaments and help me decorate that Christmas tree. Then we'll talk about whatever it is that's making you crazy. What do you, you, know you know, I really don't understand what's going on right now. Like, how do you get all that money for his bail? Maybe somebody fronted him. Somebody who? Oh, come on, Brenda. Sonny has a lot of well-placed associates. Do you know that Sonny came to see me? He told me that he doesn't think he's going to serve time. He told me that he loves me. Hey, that's terrific. Yeah, I thought... <laughs> yeah, I thought it was really terrific until he started talking about all these obligations that were going to keep us apart. I mean, if... If Sonny isn't going to go to prison and we love each other, then what obligations could possibly keep us apart? I don't know, Brenda. Maybe he's just trying to create a little distance. No, no, not a little distance, Mike. If that were true, he wouldn't have told me that he loves me. All right. What do you think is going on? I don't know. But something is really wrong. I just saw your father. Oh? Yeah, um, I couldn't sleep last night staring at the ceiling. Thinking about you, about us. Good thoughts, I hope. You might be the best thing that ever happened to me. Whether that feels right to you or not. You were, you were really precious. I mean, no, we, we, we're great together, we are. We understand one another. There's, there's no need for miscommunication or convoluted explanations about what should be <laughs> explained. You remind me of her in so many ways. Your mother. See, you do that. You do it all the time. You just know. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna have a great life together. You know, I, I wish no, that... No, shh. It's enough. You've made me very happy. Well, hey, you know, I think we should uh, lay low for a while until this grand jury situation is, is resolved. There's, there's no need to uh, put you through that. Whatever you as glad as I am to hear yours, maybe. Does that mean you miss me? Like crazy. Tell me. I miss you like crazy. Now tell me that the weather's cleared up and your